Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most iconic antagonists and monsters to face the Doctor across time and space. And you're wearing eye drives based on mine, I think. Whoops. What do you mean? <laughs> we won't be including characters that aren't directly antagonistic, like the empty child. Are you my mommy? Mommy? Number 20, the Ood. Despite their appearance, this race of terrifying-looking Cthulhu-faced psychic beings are usually quite placid and kind. Unfortunately, their telepathic abilities can make them vulnerable to external manipulation. We are the Legion of the Beast. Several powerful entities in the Hooniverse have dominated one or more of their minds to turn them against the Doctor and his allies. <laughs> The Ood are also enslaved by humans in the future. As with any mistreated race, the Ood eventually can't take any more and violently rebel against their oppressors. And while their anger may be justified, it doesn't make their red-eyed rage any less frightening. Uh, Dr. Donna Friends! The circle must be broken! Dr. The Donna Friends! Number 19, Slitheen Family. We are the Slitheen. While many of the Doctor's most famous foes are either species or individuals, the Slitheen are a family, specifically a crime family from the planet Raxacorico Fallopatorius. The Slitheen have been trying to make a buck off humanity for centuries. They even engineer an elaborate plan to start a nuclear war to devastate Earth and sell the planet for profit. The fart gags, while they're in their human disguises, do make them hard to take seriously. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's going on here? But the true Raxacorico Fallopatorian forms have an uncanny combination of baby faces mixed with huge claws that make them surprisingly scary. Service oh. Sorry. Number 18, The Headless Monks. Are you ready to make a donation? The members of this religious order are, as their name implies, entirely lacking in the dome departments. The cloaked beings that make up the order are somehow able to continue living without a brain. Because these guys never can be persuaded. Allied with a futuristic military branch of the church, the Headless Monks engage in a plan to kidnap Amy and Rory's daughter while also attempting to kill the Doctor. With their creepy cloaks and ominous chanting, which they somehow achieve without mouths, they bring to mind the Spectre of Death. Their ability to wrap their swords in energy and fire blasts from their hands make them rather threatening. Still, they're ultimately side players in their only major appearance. Protect the child! Number 17, The Black Guardian. Of the many malignant beings the Doctor has encountered, The Black Guardian is among the most powerful. Who are you? A friend. The embodiment of chaos, evil, and darkness, he stands forever against his opposite, The White Guardian. While he may be more of a behind-the-scenes villain, the Black Guardian's ambitions have nearly won him artifacts of unimaginable power, such as the key to time and enlightenment itself. He's even coerced one of the Doctor's companions into acting as his spy. In the name of all that is evil, the Black Guardian orders you to destroy him now! Although his appearances happened years ago, the Black Guardian's machinations may have had long-lasting consequences for the Doctor and his other enemies. You will never leave this... <laughs> Number 16, Scaroth. When the Doctor and Romana first encounter Count Scarlioni, he appears to be scheming to sell supposedly counterfeit versions of the Mona Lisa. But the Doctor soon discovers that the Count is present in multiple time periods. Scaroth is an alien who was involved in a time vortex accident, causing different versions of himself to be flung across Earth's history. Carlos. Carlos. 
He's influenced human development with the goal of eventually traveling back to undo the explosion that caused his condition, even if it means simultaneously undoing human existence. Garroth may be a one-off villain, but his unique circumstances and ability to match wits with the Doctor make him a particularly memorable one. Bye, Doctor. Number 15. Zygons The Doctor has encountered many species over the years capable of altering their appearance, and these Zygons are among the most iconic. Do you think Harry's still in danger from something? <gasps> A race of orange sucker-covered beings, Zygons are best known for their ability to shapeshift into other intelligent species. Through their technology, they can imitate other people, though they usually need the person in question alive for it to work. Oh. It was the horse. I'm gonna be king. They're also able to shoot lightning from their hands. As creepy as they are, Zygons have been cast in a sympathetic light in recent years, with their attempts to integrate into humanity being mostly benign. Plus, we have them to thank for the Loch Ness Monster, probably. Destroy. Number 14. The Flood Some of the best Doctor Who monsters take something innocuous and make it scary. In this case, it's water. Andrew, look at me. When the Tenth Doctor goes to humanity's first Martian base, he arrives just as the astronauts have discovered that they shouldn't have used ice from the planet. Within it, a viral life form known as the Flood begins taking over their bodies. We've got to go. The infected humans' dead-eyed expressions, cracked faces, and ability to generate water make them visually terrifying. While the Doctor and the astronauts manage to contain the threat, we can't help but think about what may be lurking in our own water. We're safe. It's hermetically sealed. They can't get in. Water is patient, Adelaide. Water just waits. Number 13. The Family of Blood Another nuclear family of villains, the Family of Blood, are from a gaseous race. Why can't I see you? Why would you want to see us? Able to possess humans, the family is able to track the Doctor across time and space through scent alone. Even the Doctor turning himself human isn't enough to throw them off his trail. You took human form. Of course I'm human, I was born human as were you, Baines! The mother, father, son, and daughter of mine are all ruthless in their pursuit of what they want, longer lives. It's a mark of what great villains they are, that the Doctor decides to give it to them, even if they come to regret it. As for me, I was suspended in time and the Doctor put me to work standing over the fields of England. Number 12. Suntarans Why did you make that disagreeable noise? Who killed him? This race of humanoid aliens come from the war-obsessed Suntaran Empire. A stocky species with incredible strength, their ranks are made up entirely of clones. With their sole purpose in life being to wage war, they are ruthless and fearless adversaries. A Sontaran afraid? Interestingly, they're able to produce a million clones every four minutes, and their many plans have included making Earth a breeding planet. Despite how much these militaristic aliens love to fight, they were kept out of the last Great Time War, since neither the Daleks nor the Time Lords trusted them enough to fight alongside them. This is a war! This is sport! <laughs> Number 11. The Great Intelligence The Great Swarm is approaching. As humanity celebrates, so shall it end. This famous monster's early appearances may have been lost to the BBC archives, but he's made numerous later appearances during Matt Smith's tenure in the TARDIS. A strange disembodied consciousness living in the void, even the Doctor wasn't sure what the Great Intelligence actually was, only that it was evil and out to get him. I have feasted on many minds, I have grown, but now 
it is time for you to reduce. After trying to take over Victorian London with an army of snowmen and then trying to suck people into the Wi-Fi, his last attempt to end the Doctor was much more ambitious, traveling into the Doctor's time stream in order to kill him thousands of times across his history. You thwarted me at every turn. Now, you will give me peace as I take my revenge. Number 10. Sutek an obscenely powerful alien warlord, Sutek the Destroyer is the basis for the Egyptian god Seth. Sutek, last of the Osirens. While he may be imprisoned in a pyramid and basically immobile, the malevolent villain still manages to use his formidable mind to dominate even the Doctor's will, with the Time Lord only able to escape by dying temporarily. <laughs> Sutek's intimidating presence and unforgettable voice have made him a perennial favorite antagonist for decades. Any further insolence, Doctor, and I shall shred your nervous system into a million fibers. Is that understood? Doctor Who even brought back his voice actor for another character we'll be discussing shortly. We still have to kneel before Sutek's might. I shall crush this miserable world and hurl it into the outermost depths of space. My vengeance starts here. Number 9. Midnight Entity This unnamed creature may only appear once, but it's still one of the most horrifying things the Doctor has ever encountered. That's impossible. But that's impossible. I couldn't repeat all that. I couldn't repeat Tell it to stop. Tell She's driving me mad. She's driving me mad. While on a tour bus on a supposedly uninhabitable diamond planet, the Doctor and his fellow passengers hear a knocking sound. I can guarantee you everything's fine. The sound increases until the creature making it possesses one of the passengers and rips off the cockpit. This being toys with the passengers and steals the doctor's voice right out of his mouth. And now it wants us. And now it wants us. It very nearly convinces the passengers to kill the doctor. Can you imagine being forced to order your own murder? This thing still sends shivers down our spines. Get rid of him! Get rid of him! Now! Now! Number 8. The Beast What other reason could there be for the doomed planet of Kruptor to endlessly orbit a black hole, other than a devil living in its core? A monstrous, fire-breathing humanoid supposedly from before the universe began, this entity claimed to be the very inspiration for Satan and demonic imagery, leading to the Doctor having an existential crisis for much of the story's climax. More sinister was the way the telepathic mind of the beast controlled the vulnerable people above, including Toby the creepy archaeologist and the otherwise benign Ood in their first appearance. The legion shall be many, and the legion shall be few. He was defeated after Rose managed to throw him into the black hole itself. Number 7. Vashta Narada Lots of people are already scared of the dark, but Doctor Who manages to make it even more frightening. Vashta Narada are swarms of microscopic predators. These piranhas of the air live in shadows and darkness and can strip flesh from bone in less than a second. It's a swarm. An eating swarm. The piranhas of the air. The best way to escape them is to stay in the light and count how many shadows someone is casting. As intelligent as they are deadly, Vashta Narada can puppeteer their victims after death to pursue their prey into the light, meaning nowhere is safe. It's a swarm in a suit, but it's learning. Perhaps the biggest indicator of how deadly they are is the doctor's advice on how to deal with them. Run. Number 6. The Silence <laughs> Taking more than a few cues from what was, at the time, the internet's most widespread creepy pasta, bringing an army of Slenderman clones to the small screen was more than some kids could handle. Indeed, the silence were deemed by many to be too scary for Doctor Who's family audience, towering over their victims and making them forget they were ever there. 
The TARDIS crew find themselves adorned with sinister tallies, counting how many of the silence they've seen but can't remember. I see you. I see you. Every episode they appeared in was certainly a frightening watch, made worse by the fact we didn't find out what they were until the 11th Doctor's regeneration. And so those ancient enemies, the Doctor and the Silence, stood back to back in the fields of Trenzalor. Number 5. Davros what would a sci-fi series like Doctor Who be without an alien who follows in the footsteps of Dr. Frankenstein? Davros is responsible for the creation of the Daleks. Oh, don't you obey? We obey Davros! He is our master! Excellent. Davros rivals the Doctor in terms of intellect and is among his most insane and dangerous foes. Davros. I should have known. Once the Dalek Emperor, few others in the series can claim to have caused the loss of trillions of lives. It is only fitting that you should bear witness to the resurrection and the triumph of Davros, Lord and Creator of the Dalek race. Despite their antagonism towards each other, Davros considers the Doctor more of a colleague than an enemy since he's the closest thing Davros has to an equal. I thought I would have to tear you apart to take it from you, but as always, your compassion is your downfall. Number 4. Cybermen What are they? Cybermen. There are two different strains of Cybermen out there. In the Doctor's universe, they originate from Earth's long-lost twin planet, Mondas, which drifted too far away from the sun and froze over. In order to survive the harsh temperatures, the residents turn themselves into Cybermen. In New Who, they generally come from Pete's World, a parallel universe created by John Lumick as a route towards immortality. Their obsession with upgrading all living things to fit their robotic worldview has put them up against the Doctor numerous times as one of their most enduring foes. The original, you might say. Number 3. Weeping Angels Hailed as one of the Revival series' best creations, the Weeping Angels made their debut in the spine-chilling Series 3 episode, Blink, itself often claimed to be one of the show's best ever stories. You're not looking at the statue. Neither are you. The frightening statues that only move when they're not being observed made for some tense moments and a handful of jump scares, feeding on the temporal energy left behind after zapping their victims into the past. Doctor! The closing reveal that every statue in the world could secretly be a weeping angel added a new layer of horror to these fan favourites even if their later appearances did get increasingly ridiculous. I always wanted to visit the Statue of Liberty. I guess she got impatient. Number 2. Daleks You can't have the Doctor without the Daleks, and you can't have the Daleks without their creator Davros. Contrary to popular belief though, the Daleks didn't appear until the second ever serial, aptly named The Daleks. <laughs> Since then, they've had a few showdowns with every Doctor and remain just as weird but deadly as always. Their creator didn't appear until much later, not until the fourth Doctor's lauded serial, Genesis of the Daleks, where their origins as radioactive mutants were fully explained. You are insane, Davros! <laughs> Regardless of where they come from, that cone-shaped exterior and maniacal voice will always be iconic. Don't shoot! Exterminate! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Master the Doctor's arch-nemesis, longtime rival and frenemy, 
The Master has had numerous incarnations as the evilest Time Lord in the universe. <laughs> And despite dying on screen numerous times, with seemingly no hope for return, they always come back. Roger DeGaldo was the first and often cited as the best, but New Who versions have also put their own spin on the iconic role. Doctor, what do we do? Run, Doctor. Run for your life! John Sims' master showed up as the 10th Doctor's ultimate foe on more than one occasion, while Michelle Gomez became the first female master, nicknamed Missy, who had a love-hate relationship with 12 until meeting a grisly demise at the hands of her previous self. I will never stand with the Doctor! Yes, my dear, you will. <laughs> Is there a Doctor Who baddie we somehow forgot? Don't stay silent, remind us in the comments below. This world is ours. We have ruled it since the wheel and the fire. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.